What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. A lot of you have been asking about the second stimulus check, additional stimulus, what we could be receiving, what are our options, what should we be looking for? So I want to answer that question. First, according to multiple reports, the stimulus plan should be coming out sometime at the end of this week. This is the, the Joe Biden uh, economic recovery plan. This is what we could see. So all reports indicate we will see this at the end of this week. So that is good news. Then we will have to wait a little bit to see the Senate actually you know, pass this, to see the House actually pass this. But the good news is it will be there. It will be up for negotiations. And that is what we need to see. Now, we are also hearing that the Biden administration is trying to get Republicans on board with their plan. Now, this is probably going back and forth between Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell, two people that aren't going to give us a lot of details as to what they're discussing. But they, based on all reports, they are going back and forth talking about what it is they want or what it is they do not want to see in a bill. Remember, Chuck Schumer and Democrats have all the power now, or they will on January 20th. But Mitch McConnell, he's used to having that power. He's had that power for a while. So right now, it's kind of questionable as to where are we going to go? What path are we going to take to get to some additional relief and more stimulus? We are also hearing that Democrats, they do not need the Senate and they do not need Senate Republicans on board with their package. But Joe Biden would like to have some Senate Republicans on board and have somewhat of a bipartisan uh, stimulus package there. But here's the thing. The House, they can pass the bill. It's not an issue. They're going to have the majority. Democrats will have the majority in the House. We know that. The Senate's can be the issue. Now, normally, the Senate, they need to have 60 votes in order to get a bill passed. However, this is something that we've been hearing for a little while. This is something I didn't want to really bring up because this makes it seem like Democrats are just going to just pass whatever they want and they could just, this bill could just be full of you know a bunch of junk and they could pass this and I don't I don't want to alarm you guys but this is technically it's an option right now according to all reports Democrats are holding something over the head of Republicans that something is called a budget reconciliation this is something that I brought up a couple months back that it's a tool that uh, Democrats could use. Republicans, uh, I don't know if they could have used this. I don't think they could have used this, uh, you know, a couple months ago or a month ago. But Democrats have this this little tool uh, to their at their disposal. Right now, according to Politico, this can be used nine times over the next two years. Over the next two years, nine times. So that's big. This right here gives Joe Biden and Democrats pretty much complete control. They can do whatever they want. They can pass any bill they want to. If they want to pass a stimulus package for $10 trillion, they could do it. I don't think a lot of people would like it, but they could do it. Now, we are getting reports that Joe Biden does not want to use this tool if he can help it. This is considered more of a, of a nuclear option. This is a last resort. Right now, Joe Biden would rather work with Mitch McConnell and Republicans and get something that both parties can agree upon. Now, Republicans are going to uh, bash whatever stimulus package Democrats put in front of them, especially if it's anything over $1 trillion, which we know it's going to be. This will most likely be closer to $3 trillion, and it could also exceed $3 trillion. We know Joe Biden wants to work with Mitch McConnell. Chuck Schumer, on the other hand, he's reportedly willing to use this, this option at any time point where he can. If Democrats cannot get their priorities through, Chuck Schumer is reportedly going to use this option. This is good for Republicans. This is good for the American people as far as stimulus, but this is not good if you're worried about the, the growing debt that the United States is facing. So here's what we know right now, and here's where the, the stimulus package currently stands. We know there's going to be a $2,000 stimulus check included. This will be $600 that we already received or most people already received. And this will include an additional $1,400 in stimulus. That's great. That means we'll have $2,000 in stimulus checks coming as a whole. Here's the issue. Right now, some Democrats are opposed to this. In the Senate, 
they have to have the simple majority. They have to have 51 votes. It split 50 Republicans, 50 Democrats. Kamala Harris would be the tiebreaker. What we know right now is if there are Democrats that are opposed to the $2,000 stimulus check, then we could ultimately see Republicans have the majority of the votes, which means if Republicans have, let's say, you know, 52 votes to the 48, then that means Kamala Harris's vote wouldn't matter. She's just the tiebreaker. So at that point, Republicans would get their way. This is the reason why the $2,000 stimulus checks at this point, and according to you know, multiple Democrats, that they don't want to pass this, this is huge. Joe Biden has to step in. Chuck Schumer has to step in and try to get them on the same page, get them united. Because if they're not, it's going to be bigger issues, especially for the American people that are currently suffering. So the $2,000 stimulus checks is going to be a big talking point. This could be one of the things that just throws everything uh, pretty much off the rails. The other thing we know is going to happen is state and local government funding. It's currently reported that we will see $400 uh, billion or more in state and local government funding. Right now, we are hearing that states and certain localities are uh, pretty much laying off employees because they cannot afford them. There's not enough work for them. They cannot afford them. You know, and that's the hard part is do we pay more to state and local government funding, but then we don't have to worry about the unemployment or do we pay for more, more for unemployment and then we don't worry about state and local government funding. Democrats, Democrats are like, well, let's just pay for both. Let's do state and local government funding and let's do some unemployment benefits. Then we'll solve both problems. That's just gonna increase the package a little bit more. We also know there will be more money for vaccine distribution and development. This could be a decent amount, uh, but right now the goal is to almost 10x what we are distributing as a country. Right now, states aren't receiving the amount of, of uh, vaccines that they need to properly get enough people vaccinated quickly, efficiently, and that's the issue. It comes down to funding. School funding is also going to be a big issue. Are we going to see millions or will this turn into billions for school funding? Some are saying it's gonna be millions, but most expect this could turn into billions of dollars, not just millions. There will be additional money for small businesses. Right now, and this is just the report, is we're going to see money for the hardest hit businesses. These are restaurants, gyms, movie theaters, places like that, that haven't really been able to open fully for this the entirety of this pandemic. So that's what we could see there. We know there is going to be rental assistance, additional rental assistance on top of the 25 billion. A big one is the social security boost. What we are hearing and what we've seen is Joe Biden really wants to push, and this is one of his campaign promises, he wants to push to get social security, uh, a, a social security boost to any people, any uh, social security recipients. So it'll be a $200 per month boost probably for the entirety of 2021. It could be just for the, the length of this pandemic, but all experts pretty much say, we're gonna be in this pandemic for at least another year. So might as well just extend the $200 per person, or it could even be a set percentage on top of COLA, which I believe is 1.3% for 2021. So if we see this, and let's say it's like 5%, if you get a $1,000 per month social security check, great, you get an additional 5%, that's an additional $50 every single month that you get. So, could be something like that. Again, we don't know. We should know more this week. There's also uh, talks of a student loan deferral extension. This is almost a guarantee. The thing that is not guaranteed is, are we gonna see a student loan forgiveness program? That's something that Chuck Schumer has really been trying to push. Uh, I believe Elizabeth Warren has been trying to push this as well. Um, so again, two senators have been pushing this. We will see what happens. Uh, Joe Biden said uh, $50,000 per student is not gonna happen. Uh, we could see 10,000, we could see, also see a little bit less. So we'll have to see what happens there. There's some talks on possible hazard pay. Now th this, I just wanna warn you guys, hazard pay is considered one of those things, it's a touchy subject. All Republicans pretty much just do, uh, you know, oppose this. They're not gonna you know, support this. Some Democrats also oppose this as well. But what we know is, Hazard pay was in the, care, the the HEROES Act, and so we could see this start to come back. However, I don't think if it comes back, I don't think it's gonna be at the $13 per hour like it was originally proposed. It could be something like a few dollars per hour. $13 per hour is highly unlikely at this point. 
We also have a word that there's going to be infrastructure spending. We knew this, but what we are hearing is the infrastructure spending, the infrastructure bill could be attached to the stimulus package. And that's kind of how the Democrats are going to pretty much push this thing through. And then also there's going to be much, much more than just what I listed. But I think that gives you a good idea of kind of what we're looking at. What I want you to understand is that over the next couple of weeks, you're going to hear people, you're going to hear the media, you're going to hear Democrats and Republicans talk about the budget reconciliation. When we hear this, if this comes up, then just know this is more of a nuclear option for Democrats. They, they don't want to use this, but they will if they have to. They If they can't get their priorities through, they know they have this. Republicans know they have this. Mitch McConnell knows this is an option. Joe Biden knows this is there. This is one of the reasons why he said $2,000 stimulus checks would be coming. Because they know they have this option. Again, they don't want to use it, but they will. Now, here's what we're looking for this week. First off, tomorrow, will the White House impeach President Trump? We could see that. That could happen tomorrow. It could sit in the Senate, though, for a while. It could sit in the Senate for months. And the soonest, if this happens tomorrow in the House, the soonest the Senate can even move on this is January 19th. So because of that, it's likely they're not going to do anything, at least until after the inauguration, but they could. So just want you to keep that in mind. Also, will we see the Biden economic recovery plan at the end of this week? If we see it this week, we're going to see some negotiations happen as soon as it comes out. Maybe even before that, we'll probably get leaks of it, in which we've kind of already been getting those, but we'll get more information, more actual details, and this will be good. This will be really good for us to see what we can expect. And also, how is President Trump going to be over the next five days? I anticipate he's going to be fine. I anticipate he's going to be somewhat quiet, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. Who knows? We just don't know. So, these are all very important. This is all crucial. And I expect this week we will have a clearer picture of, as to what we can expect going over the next couple of weeks and even into the next month. So that's what we know right now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing so tomorrow you can come back and I can keep you updated on everything that's going on. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.